Okay, next up we're gonna try roasting. To do this, we've got about 60 grams of green beans, uh, 60 because that seems to be the right size batch for this popcorn popper. Uh, this is the Bella brand. We got it at Macy's from Kukui Grove. Shout out Kukui Grove. I've got my cal calendar to uh, kind of toss some cool things down in. You don't want to let them sit when they're hot, otherwise they just keep roasting. Finally, I've got a timer here. Um, not going to be too ironclad on the timing. I think I'm probably going to pull it around three minutes, and we're going to listen for first crack, just a nice loud popcorn popping sound around 1.45. All right, here we go. It's going to come up the timer a bit. Beans go in. Start timer. Already you can see some of the silver skin coming up. That's not parchment, that is another much thinner layer of skin on the beans. Go through the green hair. Put your feet in there for some stages. What we're seeing from out of here is really, really lightweight, dusty kind of sappy stuff. Um, if you didn't hand groom all your green beans, you'd probably get a lot more of this. So this is why you do this outside. Because this stuff comes up and goes all over the place. So it looks very really nice. How are we doing here? We're at uh, almost one minute. You notice a couple of the beans that turn out right around. In general, I'm seeing a more yellow sort of color to it. Definitely light brown now. It's an air popper, so it's spinning around. The, the air is uh, spinning everything around and sort of agitating it from the bottom. You don't really need to shake it, but I just like to shake it. We're at 128, 130, minute and a half right now, so we should be here. Got most of brown beans here. I don't know if you call this house roast or not. Right about here is a very light. Coming up on two minutes. Here it is. So right at 214, 215. Got a good crack there. That might be what they call a second crack, I'm not sure. It was first crack and second crack. I don't know what that means. I definitely hear it happen. It's popping up. You see that? The volume's increasing. So as each beam kind of bursts and cuts up. Well, I see a few inside there. It's, it's expanding the beans. So a lot of my chaff is landing in my colony, of course. We'll get that out later. Okay, coming up on three minutes. I'm going to editorially stop right at three minutes. And dump it out. There we go. in there. And we've got to keep it moving here. this cool evenly. And I'm going to keep doing this for at least a minute. And then I'll sort of reach in and feel it, see how hot it is. What we don't want is a pile of beans with a hot center. Because I'll just keep roasting and roasting and roasting. Okay, I just kicked over four minutes. I'm gonna feel these. Oh, they're still pretty hot. We got a good, pretty 
good lightish kind of roast here. You can see some light ones and some dark ones. I don't see any like dark black ones. I don't see any greasy ones. So this is a nice light roast. It's still really warm. Sorry, that's probably obnoxiously loud. Sorry about that. Okay, and we're right at five minutes now. I'm gonna stop. Let's see how this feels. It's still warm. It doesn't feel super hot. It's still, it's still pretty warm. And this stuff that came off here is not the same as parchment. There is another layer of, you know, tiny, tiny thin membrane called silver skin on each bean. And in the roasting process, it, it sort of comes up. It's very, very thin, and that blows away really easily. All right. So I'm calling that good. That's a, that, that's a batch of beans right there. You'll notice it's, it's really puffed up. I'm going to pour it back in the same bowl it came from. And I've got another bowl waiting to go in. And we will compare the two. Where's my other bowl? There it is. This is the same amount of green beans. And you'll notice... The roasted beans have definitely increased in, in volume. They've sort of cracked and puffed and opened up. Oops, no focus, there we go. Cracked, puffed, opened up, and oh my gosh, hands are dirty because you had your hands in the beans. And these guys have not opened up yet. Anyway, these guys I will leave out to cool some more and uh, then they will go into a bag that's got a little vent in it. Let them go about 72 hours. Right now they don't smell like anything. If you smell this, th sorry, this your smell of vision is not broken. You just can't smell this right now. Yeah, because there's there's really nothing. There's kind of a hot smell and that's it. The scent of coffee will develop in the next 72 hours or so. And we will make coffee and drink it Friday with these. That's it. That's the setup right there. <laughs>